Well, Merry Christmas, everyone. Pastor John Miller here. To I'm excited to share with you the real reason for the season and um, something that can give us great joy, great peace. It's all about the reason that Jesus Christ came to the earth. And a couple of weeks ago, I shared with you four reasons why Jesus came in his own words. And today I'd like to complete um, that effort. But let me begin by sharing with you what I did share. Um, and I wanted to share this with you because many, many people don't really know what Christmas is truly all about and why that baby was born in Bethlehem. So number one, quickly, uh, Jesus said to Zacchaeus in Luke 19, 10, he said, For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save those who are lost. He said to the tax gatherer Zacchaeus, uh, I came to save those who know they're lost. And Zacchaeus knew he was lost. Um, and that is a reason why Jesus Christ came to this earth to save those who know they need the Savior. And then the, uh, to the Pharisees, Jesus said in, in uh, Mark 2, 1, something similar. He said, it is not those who are healthy who need a physician, but those who are sick. I did not come to call the righteous, but I came to call sinners to repentance. And so here's another a statement from Jesus as to why he came to earth. I didn't come to think to save those who don't think they need to be saved. They think they're uh, healthy spiritually. Uh, no, I came to call those who know that they have that terminal disease called sin, and I came to save them. Uh, a third reason is that Jesus said to his disciples, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. He said that in uh, Matthew 20, 28. And then in John 6, 38, a fourth reason that Jesus came to the earth, he said to the multitudes whom he had uh, fed, he said, uh, I have uh, come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. That's why I came. Didn't come to do my own will, but the will of my Father in heaven. Today, we've got a fifth reason that Jesus came to earth in his own words. He said to, uh, he had an encounter with uh, Governor Pilate after he was arrested, where Pilate said uh, to him, in uh, John 18, 37, he said, so you are a king. And Jesus responded to him and said this, uh, you say correctly that I am a king. For this I have been born and for this I have come into the world to bear witness to the truth. And everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. Very clearly stated by Jesus before the pagan governor Pilate. I came to bear witness to the truth. And man, obviously we live at a time where we need to hear truth in the midst of the lies and the falsehoods uh, that surround us uh, today. And then in Matthew 10, 34, we read that Jesus said again to his disciples, he said, don't think that I came to bring peace on the earth. I did not come to bring peace but a sword. And you can read that in Matthew 10, 34 and following, where he does explain that in coming to Jesus Christ and developing a relationship with him, you can be at odds with other people who are not willing to bow their knee to the Savior. They reject uh, the light that Jesus brings into a dark room because their deeds are evil and they don't want it exposed. And when you come to Jesus, you have the light of the world within you. You shine that light and there are people who don't like it. And even people perhaps in your own family who would reject you because they reject Jesus. So that's what Jesus meant by don't think that I came to bring peace because um, my coming can cause uh, a reaction where people would actually hate you because you know Jesus. Another reason 
uh, Jesus said he came is when he talked again to the Pharisees. He said that the thief comes to steal, to kill and to destroy. But I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. And so on that Christmas morn over 2,000 years ago, when Jesus came to this earth, he came that we might have a life of abundance, of my, a life of meaning and purpose, uh, that we might have life and have it to the full, to the uttermost, abundant life. And we truly have that in Jesus Christ. Uh, beautiful, John 10, verse 30. Let me add one more. Uh, to this list, an eighth reason. And this is actually from uh, the Apostle John um, in 1 John 3, 8. 1 John 3, 8, where John says, The Son of Man appeared for this purpose, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Boy, I love hearing that, because the devil seems to be getting an upper hand today throughout the world as he has so often and yet jesus said i came for this purpose that i might destroy the works of the devil it's beautiful uh, god the lord jesus came uh, that he might deal with sin and death and the devil and so christmas is something uh, that tells this full story of why jesus came to earth and it's a day for real rejoicing. And I trust that wherever you are, with family or without family uh, the, on this day, that you might feel the joy, the peace, and the hope that we have through our Lord Jesus Christ. So God bless you on this wonderful day. Bye-bye.